Hello, everybody. Welcome to the annual Lighted Veterans Day Parade. I am TJ. And I'm Tiffany Stewart Stanley. And we are here to guide you through this parade. Now, it's the annual Lighted Veterans Day Parade. As far as we know, it's like the only one around. Right, and that's truly amazing. It is. We're yes. doing great things in Douglas County. Do it in Douglas. <laughs> Do it in Douglas, <laughs> baby. All right, so Veterans Day. What do you think about when I say Veterans Day? When I think about Veterans Day, I think about the sacrifice that so many people made for our country. I think about my grandfather who fought in World War II in the Korean War. I think about my brother who has served several tours in Afghanistan. I think about my dad who was a Marine. And I think about all the people who've just made countless sacrifices for this country. A lot of them were drafted. They didn't mm, even have a choice. Didn't have so a choice. for people to go and protect and fight for our country, we we can never repay them yeah well i was going to ask you if you knew anyone or related to anyone that was in the military and yes. apparently you are i am yeah. i am a very proud history of um people in my family serving our country yeah so let me ask you a question mm -hmm. what year was the origination of armistice day which is the predecessor to veterans day what what year go with 1949 that is wrong oh. <laughs> <laughs> you thought i was gonna say oh you're right. right all right okay what year was it november, november 11th 1919 oh wow so i'm like 30 years off yeah mm, okay so that was the end of world war one oh. okay so we kind of uh in 1926 congress passed a resolution for an annual observance okay every november 11th Okay. And then in 1938, it became a national holiday, and we changed it to Veterans Day. Okay. Very okay. well suited. Veterans now, Day. when I say a veteran, what what is a veteran? Well, I don't I don't know. People think of it in a lot of different ways. For me, it's someone who has actively served in our military. That's how I define it. So it could be from the Coast Guard to the Army Reserve to the right. Marines, Air Force. That's how I define it. But that may not be correct. You're right. You're ah. right. Whether active duty, discharge, retired, or reserve, okay. it's someone who at one point in his or her life wrote a blank check. Wow. made payable to the United States of America for an amount up to and including his or her own life. Wow. I That's mean, sacrifice. That is sacrifice. And, 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 you know, to be from my hometown, one of the first, within the first week um, after 9-11, that war, we lost someone in my hometown, and it, it really set home for me. So when I went to high school with that you know how serious war can be and be and actually serve in the military so i truly understand that sacrifice yeah and that's why we do this parade we want to honor our veterans our active military and just before the parade jones win goes mm -hmm. the route of the parade and okay. they pass out flags to all the, the uh, spectators and there are hundreds of people lining the streets of downtown douglasville right now wow. getting yep. ready for this parade uh the per each parade entry has to salute the U.S. flag, active military, reserves, and or veterans. There is no self-promotion. Uh, the, the businesses can have mm -hmm. their business name, right. but they can't pass out any flyers right. or anything like that. That's Politicians right. can't campaign. Right. It's all about the veterans. And that's how it should be because yeah. I think it's, you know, there should be something where it's just about them because they've done so much for us. So I think that this parade is going to be great. I've personally been a couple of years and I enjoy it every year. And I'm looks like the people of Douglasville in Douglas County enjoy because the streets are lined and full. Up. They're showing up. So we're excited. I can't wait for it to start. And I I think I hear You're it coming down, the, down the road. I see blue lights. Yes. Yep, here they come. The 15th annual Veterans Day Lighted Parade starts off with the Douglasville Police Department. We appreciate the cooperation of City Police Chief Gary Sparks and his officers. They're followed by the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club of Temple who ride their motorcycles to represent the historic Buffalo Soldiers of the U.S. Army's 9th and 10th Cavalry. Next are the Patriot Guard and the American Legion riders along with AMVET riders. These cyclists escort fallen soldiers as an honor guard and serve to assist the families of fallen soldiers with whatever they need. We also have Sid Kelly representing CLIA and the CERT team which is the Citizens Emergency Response Team. 
motorcycles are loud. They are loud. They are very loud. I'm sorry, did you say something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> green one that is nice love it that's got an actual like car engine in it the motorcycles have cleared out so we can actually hear ourselves now and that's great yeah. a wonderful parade the logo for the parade was created by the very talented rick parker presenting our colors is the u.s navy sea cadets warrior division the unit is wearing the u.s navy dress blues as a sign of respect and service of our veterans. Beautiful. Oh, wow. uh oh. The crowd is loving it. They're clapping for those sea cadets. Now, the guy in the middle, in the very back, I went to high school with him. That's William Golden. Wow. Okay, yeah. cool. And I taught his daughter when I was a teacher. I did not know you were a teacher. I was, yeah. Now, where did you teach at? Dorset Shoals Elementary. Wow, you teaching kids, huh? Yeah, inspiring them. I could only imagine what those great. children have learned. Yeah, that's why they made me stop. I mean, I quit. <laughs> well, you've moved on to yeah. a brighter day, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I don't we know. We got city police um, coming in here. Wow, it's great to have those who protect and serve in the parade as well. Yeah. And, you know, I find that a lot of our um, police officers and sheriff's officers are veterans. Yeah. Yeah. There's the American Legion with a huge float. Wow, that is a great float. Monstrous. They're located off of Bankhead Highway. Wow, they really worked on that one. Yeah. They always enter the Veterans Day Parade. Yeah. We've got our elected officials banner, and following behind our elected official banner is Madam Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Chairman Jones actually is a veteran herself. Yes. She served in the Army for three years and was married to U.S. Marines, so she has experience as a military wife as well. She is 19 years of service as a military wife. Yeah. And it looks like our mayor, Mayor Rochelle Robinson, uh, is yes. in the vehicle with her as well. City County Relations are great yes now most parades have a grand marshal but douglas county chose to honor and remember the 49 citizens who have been killed in action since the county's founding in 1870. this covers world wars one and two korea vietnam iraq afghanistan and conflicts in between 49 long stem red roses are being carried in the memory by members of the town and country club of douglas county after the parade, the roses will be delivered to the American Legion Post. The Town and Country Garden Club celebrates 60 years of service to the Douglasville area. Well, we've got some Cub Scouts coming up, Boy Scouts it looks like. We've got the Douglasville Coyotes. Wow, and we also have the Alexander JROTC. Yeah, they're coming up. I was in JROTC, by the way. Really? Yes. The what does JROTC stand for? Junior. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Stumped her. You know what? We, it was my senior year. It was the first year that we ever had an, a JROTC uh -huh. in my um, county, in my high school. And we were the first class. And I was the chief operating officer. So, nice. Yep. Second highest in command. They're doing a cool little marching yes. chant. Yes. We've also got the Douglas County High School Army Junior ROTC. Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Lark and Sergeant Major Keith Mack are the instructors. And the purpose of the JROTC is to instill a value of citizenship, service to the United States, 
personal responsibility, and a sense of accomplishment. The program produces successful students and productive adults while fostering in each school a more constructive and disciplined learning environment. This program makes substantial contributions to many communities and ultimately to the nation's future. We, the Alexander Cougar Battalion, would like to honor our veterans. We salute you. Honor our Ready, Jeff. Ready, next. Well, it's really great to see our high school students be involved in such a great day to honor our country and honor our veterans. Yeah. It's touching. Yes. Ready, move. Ready, get. Ready, action. Ready, get. Ready, action. I wasn't aware that we had so many different types of JROTC here in Douglas yeah, County. That's amazing. We've got the, the Marines, we've got the Army. Cool. goes wild exactly and you would after such a major an amazing display of just Tell you what, I think we get more and more ROTCs every year. Every year. Yes. Can you imagine if that gun hit your knuckle on a night like tonight? It would not be good. It would hurt. You would probably end up at our fine Wellstar yeah, Hospital establishment. It is cold. Yes, I can't. My, my knuckles are like.
Nice. I like yeah. that. Who rocked this house? Apparently they do. <laughs> I thought it was Run's house. The Chapel Hill High School Navy Junior ROTC has over 165 members. Tonight they honor our veterans with a banner, drill team, color guard, senior staff, and cadets in company formation. With them is their unit trailer decorated for tonight's event. Fantastic <laughs> job lighting that thing up. I mean, that is a really great display of patriotism. Yes. Now we have the Alexander High School Cougar Band under the direction of David White and Andy Daniel. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes, wow. Love having bands in this parade. Yes, yes, they add a lot of just greatness to I mean, it. the atmosphere. It just really makes you understand by adding that music, just what our veterans are and how much they mean to the us. The pageantry. The pageantry. Just. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And the costumes. Yes. Alexander's my alma mater. I did not know that. Yeah. So you are a Douglas County boy. Yes. Ah. Born and bred. Yes, that's great. Love it. Wow. Her instrument's bigger than she. <laughs> I bet those uh, brass instruments are pretty cold. I know they are. That's probably why they have on gloves. Yeah. Wow. There's some big, oh, look at the trolley. Here comes our active military and reserve section. You can see the banner there. It's all lit up. Behind them is the Marietta trolley. Ding, ding. I always think of rice a when I hear that. I do too. Yeah. The San Francisco it treat. Is. It is. That's slick marketing. Yes, and you see we still remember yep. it. <laughs> I always had that commercial during The Price is Right. You're right. Because yeah. there was always someone winning a box of rice and on yeah. the Price is Right. Now we have Paul H. Bunch Jr. of Forest Park, a Vietnam veteran flying the flags of America, POW um, slash MIA, Christian, and all five branches of the military in a 1964 GMC pickup truck with decals honoring our military. We've got Chuck Akels, Vietnam veteran of the U.S. Army. He was awarded the Bronze Star. He says, our country need never forget to honor our service men and women because all gave some and some gave all. And he's followed by Al Gully Jr. in a 2013 convertible Camaro. He is 81 years young and is a retired military. We've got the Knights of Columbus. Their theme is the salute, a salute to our veterans. They are the Mother Teresa Assembly 2562 in Douglasville. And next you'll see our uh, Veterans Organizations banner, and that is followed by the Vietnam Veterans Chapter 935. 
Also, the Robert G. Hunter Memorial Chapter of the Vietnam Veterans of America. Robert Hunter was the first Douglas County citizen killed in the Vietnam War and is the person for whom Hunter Park is named. Hmm, I did not know that. Yeah. We've got a citizen's banner coming up. All right. And that banner is followed by the Pilot Club of Sweetwater. The Pilot Club of Sweetwater is a service organization of men and women who have been deeply involved in the Douglas County community since its chartering in 2008. It is a leader in the education of the need and provision of helmets for children in an effort to prevent brain-related injuries. They want to say thank you to all of our veterans and active service members and also their families. In that Ford truck is John Bleakley. They're supporting the veterans tonight, throwing a little candy. Yes. And next are scout groups. Um, we have American Heritage Girls Troop 88, and that is a Christian scouting group out of Winston, and they are proud to honor our distinguished veterans. They always have a big group in the parade. Yes. They got a nice, trailer that's lighted i wish they had some cookies yeah oh my yes, gosh that now you got me thinking about cookies that would be so great girl scout cookies that would be so great Man, oh my some goodness. thin mints and oh milk goodness. savannas Ooh. they are delicious i'm hungry we've got the go team therapy dogs they're a registered nonprofit organization dedicated to placing well-trained therapy dog teams in programs that provide comfort and caring through a canine human bond the volunteers serve in a wide variety of settings, including working with servicemen and veterans. And now we have Har Harvester Christian Academy. They're a private school here in Douglasville. Yes, I visited it. It's a great school. Yeah. My hometown realty group supporting the veterans tonight in the parade. All right, it's great to see business owners out here supporting our veterans. Looks like we got a bunch of scout groups coming. We Who do. We got? Well, we've got the Cub Scout Packs 39 and then 950 from Lithia Springs. And then 1990 out of St. Teresa's Catholic Church in Douglasville. And from Mason Creek Elementary. I'm telling you what, those Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts, they really turn it out for the parade. Yes, look at them. You can see their enthusiasm Huge. and their great displays of patriotism. Oh, yeah. If you want to, if you want to see what patriotism is, all you have to do is check out the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, yes. Cub Scouts, Brownies. <laughs> that right. That whole, that the, whole genre. They learn from an early age. They do. They do. They do a great job. They just keep coming. All right. Wow. And then looks like you've got the Girl Scouts Twin Path Service Unit. Yep. I'm thinking about cookies again. I know. Way to go. Some hot chocolate, some oh. cookies right now. That would be great. Whew. We've got Mercer University coming through, supporting the veterans tonight. Yes. It's great to see our educational partners out here yeah. supporting our veterans. Glad to have them out. And next we have the Midway Community Resource Center. This is a ministry of New Jerusalem Seventh Day Adventist Praise and Worship Center. As, a, as an Adventist Community Service Center, they provide humanitarian aid and training to improve the lives of our neighbors. And I bet you couldn't tell that another band's coming. You know what? Shocking. <laughs> That's the Chapel Hill High School Panther Band. And they sound they great. They present Battle Hymn of the Republic in honor of those who have served or are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces. All right. And T 
TJ, looks like we've gotten to the end of our parade. We've got Sergeant wow. Major Harris on one of his beautiful horses. And a, yep. yes. if you see horses, you know it's the end. It better be the end of the parade or the people behind the horses are going to be really upset. Yeah, I see why they're the end now. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Another wonderful parade here. In, Great night. In cold Douglasville. Chilly Douglasville. It's a it chilly a Douglasville cold. night. But it was a great parade. It was. it was just great to see so many of our veterans, our citizens, our community members out here supporting our veterans and supporting our country. That's what it's all about. It we're is. So, we're so glad that you joined us and, and get to see the parade. We're happy that we had so many people turn out. And thank you, Tiffany, oh, for you're coming welcome. out and hosting with me. It was a great honor to yeah. be here to help honor our veterans. And we also want to thank our volunteers who yes. came out to help. They're doing a great job, and uh, hopefully they'll stay long enough to help us clean up. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you.